It is one of the most difficult, some would say thankless jobs there is. On Ban Ki-moon's watch as UN Secretary General, conflict and crises have mounted and the international community, in particular the US and Russia, have become more divided on how to respond. Soon it won't be Ban Ki-moon's job anymore. The UN Security Council has already held five straw polls on who should take over the job in less than three months' time. Now the contest enters the decisive phase. In the next round, coloured ballot papers are being introduced for the permanent members of the council, the five countries that can block any candidate. In all the votes so far, one man has come out on top. Antonio Guterres served for 10 years as the head of the UN's refugee agency. He's a former Prime Minister of Portugal. If on Wednesday no permanent member of the Security Council objects to him, he could win the race. In second place in the last straw poll, the former Foreign Minister of Serbia, Vuk Jeremic, and in third place, the current Foreign Minister of Slovakia, Miroslav Lajcek. There's been lots of talk about a woman's secretary general, but so far female candidates like Irina Bokova, the director general of UNESCO, have not done well. She's staying in the race, but her country, Bulgaria, is now shifting its support to a second candidate. It's nominated the EU commissioner, Kristalina Georgieva. I certainly hope people would judge me on the merits of my candidacy and not on the length of my campaign. Uh, and I do believe that on the merits of my candidacy, I deserve a close look uh, because of the fact that I have this breadth of international experience in everything that is core to the mandate of the United Nations. As I believe that in many regards... This has been a more open race. Each candidate has faced questions from ambassadors. In the past, the names of the candidates weren't even publicly announced. Al Jazeera even held a televised debate in the UN General Assembly. However, after the actual votes in the Security Council, there's been no formal announcement of the results. Journalists have had to rely on leaks to find out how the candidates fared. The man who introduced many of the changes says he's somewhat disappointed. Uh, frankly speaking, it's a little ridiculous to keep these so-called stoppels a secret officially. When we can get it, you can get it, I can get it, within half an hour from they have taken place from one of the, the members of the Security Council. So it would have been more consistent with the way we have been doing things in General Assembly if they had opened up also formally this process. The race to be Secretary General began with more transparency, but it will end, as always, with a secret vote and quite possibly secret deals made behind the closed doors of the UN Security Council. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.